another session here on umbilical cord. Let's start it. Here you can see in this picture, this is umbilical cord in which there are a variety of things like a main thing for our purpose is blood vessels, arteries and veins. Arteries usually carry uh, deoxygenated blood from the fetus to the placenta and veins carry umbilical veins carry oxygenated blood from placenta towards the fetus. Now umbilical cord also called as funus it is a connecting link between the fetus and placenta. It generally extends from fetus a fetal umbilicus to the fetal surface of the placenta. So fetus fetal umbilicus to the fetal surface of placenta. Its normal length is 30 to 100 centimeter. If it is less than 30 centimeter, it suggests short cord and it develops from the connecting stalk which is a bend of mesoplastic tissues. In the early intrauterine life, there are mainly four, uh, four vessels present there, two arteries and two veins. Right umbilical artery, left umbilical artery, right umbilical vein, left umbilical vein. But by the fourth month of uh, intrauterine life, this right umbilical vein generally disappears. Uh, left umbilical vein persists. Later on, this right umbilical vein disappears and left umbilical vein is left behind at birth. Thus, at birth, there will be only three vessels structures within this umbilical cord. First of all, there is covering epithelium, which is a single layer of amniotic epithelium. And second, Watson's, uh, Watson's jelly, which is an elongated cell in a gelatinous fluid which is formed by the mucoid degeneration of extra embryonic mesodermal cell. So just remember this, that mucoid type of substance is a uh, jelly is what some mucus mucus. So what in jelly is a mucoid degeneration of extra embryonic mesodermal cells, which is rich in mucopolysaccharides. And its main function is to provide protection to umbilical vessels, blood vessels, as we have discussed, right umbilical vein disappear by fourth month and presence of this right umbilical vein may, uh, may be a danger and uh, maybe not good for a baby. It will may lead to congenital malformations and may this sim single umbilical artery is often associated with congenital abnormalities. Okay. So, there will is generally two arteries as we have studied, right and left, both arteries are there. But if there will be only one artery, then single umbilical arteries often suggestive of fetal congenital malformations. At 12th week, the spiral form taken by the vessels from left to right, it is taken from the left to right side and veins is generally a spiral and twist around the arteries. Remnant of umbilical vesicle, yolk sac and its vitelline duct. So it is what? It is maybe found in the small body near the attachment, yellow colored small body near the attachment of the cord to the placenta where the, when, where the cord is uh, just attached to placenta there, the yellow color body is present. Okay, this is a remnant of umbilical vesicle, yolk sac and its vitelline duct. Allentois is a blind tubular structure occasionally present near the fetal end, continuous inside fetus with its uricus and the bladder. Obliterated extra embryonic coelom. In early period, it is present along with the intraembryonic coelom with herniation of midcut. But if persist, congenital umbilical hernia or exome phallus will be there. Here you can see umbilical cord connecting link between the fetal, uh, fetus uh, umbilicus and the placenta, fetal surface of placenta. Normal cord will have a single vein and two arteries. If, if there is one artery, then there will be a congenital malformation. Right umbilical vein usually disappear. Single umbilical artery if present like here. In this child, there will be definitely a congenital malformation present. Now, 
thickness is of the umbilical cord is generally not uniform but uh, present with some nodes and swellings at places and these nodes and swellings are false nodes the form due to kinking of the umbilical vessels and the local collection of the what what is jelly okay true nodes are rare in the umbilical cord it is generally one percent of very rare chances now the first uh, the umbilical cord is attached to the membrane then to the placenta this is a defect here this is a filamentous insertion of placenta when it is first attached to membrane and then to placenta this is just generally not happens can lead to vessa previa high perinatal mortality rate is there because of this filamentous insertion of placenta which will lead to fetal blood loss and this is a very uh, rare condition but it is very dangerous condition for the child it will lead to a fetal loss thank you so much we'll continue our obscuring series from uh, by making some more videos